Hello, this is Linda Lang with Make It Now. I had a request for uh, instruction on how to do the beading up close because I had a camera set up earlier and I just didn't do it very well. So hopefully this is gonna be a better example on how to make these earrings. Just to give you a little bit of a background, these I got at the dollar store. You can get any kind of stickers. You can buy gems and stones and hearts and flowers and all kinds of stuff. But I like the feathers and you have to buy two so that you can get the pair. You see how I've got these pairs so that I'll be able to make those pretty green earrings as well. Well, I am gonna go ahead and make these blue ones. And they're gonna look something like this when we're done, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is get some of this heavy duty felt. It's a little stiffer than regular felt and uh, you can get it in different thicknesses, but I like the medium thickness. So you're gonna to wanna to glue these down onto here and you're gonna use E6000. I don't trust the sticky stuff on the back, so I'm gonna get my E6000, I'll be right back. I just love these little tubes anyway. Okay, so I'm going to glue on the back And when you glue it down, make sure it sticks all the way around. Like I said, I don't trust the glue that comes with it. And I just wanna make sure it's all around. And as you glue it down, make sure you have space between each one of those. Okay. And I, and I believe it takes about, I don't know, 10 minutes to dry. But we're going to continue going because I'm videotaping. And I'm just going to get this other big piece out of my way and cut this in half. Again, you want to leave room around it, okay? So I'm going to cut this close to the edge without getting onto the design. You wanna leave a little bit. Maybe you might even wanna draw it with a pencil, but I just do it with my eyeball. And so what I do is I just cut it around like this. And then I'll do the other one. And once I'm done, I will put them back to back to make sure that I have them the same size. Okay, one's a little more wonkier than the other, so let me cut this one off. And then we have a little bit of side in here. Cut this off a little bit. And then a little bit of this, make sure we're good to go. Okay, a little bit of this on the bottom. So you wanna go back and forth and make sure you've got the same size, okay? Okay, that's how you get started. Easy peasy. All right, here's the next step. On this video, I'm also going to do some upgrading. Before I had the backing for the uh, hanging part, glued to the back of the earring. But this time, I'm going to use paper clips. Everybody has paper clips. And so I'm going to use these paper clips. And you wanna use the uh, skinniest part for the top. And this will also reinforce your earring. So you wanna put that right inside like that. And just glue the earring back, the, the paper clip, right onto the back like that. Now I'm gonna do both very quickly so that I can make sure that they are leveled out properly at the same, on the top. So I wanna make sure that they're the same. Okay, this one needs to come down a little bit. Okay, so now 
we have the paper clip glued to the back. You wanna let that dry. This also helps reinforce. Before, I used a little piece of cardboard, but since I'm doing it with this technique, you don't need a piece of cardboard. This is the secure part. So you let that dry. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna put a backing on top of this. And so you do it by picking a backing material. You can use the same kind of felt, you can use the same color, you can get a different color. I'm using a different color because it actually, it really matches that very nicely. I'm just gonna put it there, cut around it. Just, just to get this piece out of the way, okay? Let's glue it down first. So make sure the glue just does, doesn't go all the way to the edge because that's where you're going to be doing your beading. You don't want to sew through bead, uh, through glue. And then you just put it down there. This is the part you got to wait for it to dry. You do not have to glue it all the way to the edge because you're going to be using beading and it's gonna hold the whole earring together. Just let that glue sit and I'll be back. Now what you do once it's dry is cut out right along the same edge as the one on top, exactly. Same with this one. So I'm gonna let this dry some more and I'll be right back to show you how you beat it. Now for the beading. And I already beaded this one. Now I'm gonna show you how to beat it. First thing you wanna do is get some beading thread that matches your design. You only need like about two and a half feet. I think it takes care of the whole earring. The hardest part is threading it, so give me a minute. Okay, so then what you do is you wanna tie the end in a knot. Just kinda of loop it. And pull it through. And then do it again. And then just tie, you know, cut off the tail just a little bit. It's going to be hidden inside your project. So now what you do is you take this and you start at the top. Or you can start at the bottom, you can start at the top, whatever. I like to start at the top. So I'm going to put my needle right about in here. And you put it through the two because that's where you hide your knot. And squish it in there to make sure it stays. That's not shown. Okay, now it's in there. And you take a bead and you go from the back forward. So then you, you go straight back and you come back forward close to the design. And use this other finger to kind of guide it so that it's it just kind of sits right like that. You see, now you're like this. First one. And then you take your thread that's on the top and you go back up through the bead. Make sure that this thread is on this side of the bead as well. This side of the bead. And then you go up. That's your first bead. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and then you take the second bead because your thread is now out of this bead and you go back through the back and go forward using that other finger behind it to hold the bead in place. And then you go back through the bead from the bottom up Take another bead, go through the back, 
Make sure you have the back as well, because sometimes you miss the back. Make sure you, you've got it in the back. You go to the front. You gotta use that other finger to kind of keep it in place. And then go back up the bead. This way, the bead lays flat. See how it's flat and this, the holes are sticking out. Because if I decide to add dangles, it's easier to use the holes as guides, as my uh, separators. Okay, so you go out with that and then you pick up another bead, go to the back. and pull it through, go back up the bead. That's how easy it is. And you notice that I do have my thread here. That's why it's a good idea to have it as close to that as possible, or you can do contrast, whatever you wanna do. And then you pick up another bead, go to the back and to the front, using this finger to guide, and then you go back up back up the bead so every time you're done the thread is coming out of the hole of the bead okay now we're getting to this paper clip okay then pick another bead up go into the inside where the paper clip is make sure you get the back piece as well and then I'm going to go back through the paper clip so that I'm behind it okay and then I bring my needle back through that bead. And then it comes out to the front again. So then what I wanna do is put the needle back through the back and then put pick up another bead. I'm gonna go back through the middle there again. And then put the needle back through the paper clip come around the back and go back up through the bead. See, and our thread is back in front again. We wanna go back through the back of the paper clip. So now the thread is behind the paper clip and now I pick up the next bead to finish off my project. So I've got one more bead spot left. See, one more bead spot left. I pick, I put my needle through the back of the bead draw it closed. To finish, you go into the first bead straight down and pull it through. And it pulls it all together. To tie it off, I just go back all the way through, turn it over, and I just do a slip knot in here. Just use a little bit of the material Pull it through, do a one of those, and you can do another one if you want. And then you just simply go back through a little bit like that, pull it, and then cut it right there. You can cut it off more if you want to. There you go. And since I am using silver paper clips, I am going to use silver findings. Now all you do is you take it and you spin it and make sure that it's going in the right direction. Close it. And there's your earring. Let's do the other one. Just spin it to open. Make sure it's going in the right direction and then close it. These earrings take not even 10, 15 minutes to make. So there you go. Make it now with Linda Lang, updated and revised version from the previous sticker earring project.